Hello, YouTubers. Uh, my name is Kevin Young with Serpentarium Surplus and Moonlight Mantids. Today, I wanted to make a video for you um, about blue bottle fly care. Blue bottle flies are a great feeder for uh, insects, reptiles, just about anything. A lot of people don't really know how to care for them once they have them, how they get them to hatch properly, uh, what you got to do, and how you use them. Um, a lot of people are trying to keep their flies alive by giving them honey and water makes a huge mess you're gonna lose a lot of them they're just gonna die um, I'm gonna show you how to I'm gonna tell you how to suspend them and uh, how you're gonna use them and how you're going to get them to hatch it's really really simple uh, I'm just gonna show you really quick and then um, we'll uh, we'll show you I'm gonna feed one of my uh, griffin mantises and uh, see if they can tackle it and uh, t about tell you what age they can handle that kind of stuff um, so just hold on a second all right all right here we are and um, we have our blue bottle flies. I'm going to show you what the pupas look like. If you order them, they come in this weird medium. And um, after just uh, a few days of slight, lightly misting them and putting them somewhere not in direct sunlight, they will develop inside of the pupa. And what you're going to get are these little flies. See right here, this is a freshly hatched fly. Minutes after taking them out of the fridge, here they are hatching. Uh, what I did first is I incubated them. Um, by, like I just said, lightly misting them, putting them somewhere kind of warm. Keep an eye on them, because once they start to hatch, you're going to get a whole bunch of them. At that point, um, what you're going to do is put them back into the fridge and only pull them out uh, as many as you're going to use. Um, so use them as needed. When you're done with them, you put them back in the fridge. So here we have some that are freshly hatched after only five minutes of pulling them out once they were fully developed. Um, they just start coming, start pouring out of those uh, pupa. And uh, when I'm not using them, the slightly older flies here, right here, um, they're really slow. They're not flying yet, and uh, they uh, they're really cold. And when they're cold from being in the fridge, they don't fly. Um, also, you can make them, uh, you can mist them a little bit. That helps too. But keeping them in the fridge keeps them suspended, keeps them alive. You don't need to feed them. You don't need to water them. Just use them as needed and uh, keep them in a plastic container when you're not using them. Put them back into the fridge and uh, when they're kept nice and cool um, you got about uh, two or three minutes to use them before they start heating up and then they're gonna fly all around and they're gonna be make a big mess but uh, right now as you can see they're not flying or doing anything else and uh, you don't even need them to hatch. Once they start the hatching process you can just put the container into the refrigerator and it will stop them from hatching out or dying or metabolizing their food or um, doing anything. So they just stay uh, nice and suspended until you need them. So no feeding, no watering involved, no mess. Put them back into the fridge after you incubate and they start to hatch. Then take them out uh, very quickly, put them into the cages you need to feed them into, and then put them back. I got a mantis right here for you, a nice little griffin mantis. One second, sorry, sorry. Right here. And I got my fly, which is just come out of the fridge and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put him in there if he stops climbing on me oh where'd he go here we go see he hasn't started flying yet all right come on buddy get him oh Turn it back on okay and there he is Zip. grabbed his nice big blue bottle fly there and uh, he's eating it let me see if I can't show you a little bit better there he is, Griffin Mantis, eating a blue bottle fly. Uh, it's a really big meal for him. This is about an L4 Griffin Mantis. At about L4, L5, most mantids can handle the blue bottle fly. It's going to accelerate their growth. They're very inexpensive, and uh, they're just a lot like mealworms. When you're not using them, put them back in the fridge. It's going to keep them from developing. You don't need to feed or water these pupa. Just lightly mist them. And uh, after just a little while, you see them here, they come pouring out of their uh of their youth i'm sorry youth <laughs> of their pupa and then uh you uh you very quickly they hatch um after pulling them out see there were no flies in here a minute ago they're all starting to pour out close the container again put it back into the fridge when you're not using it feed what you got to feed scorpions reptiles uh mantises tarantulas you know young tarantulas uh very very awesome food source a couple of these um, maybe every other day, and these L4s will turn to L5s and 6s very, very quickly.
Flying insects are probably the best food for a praying mantis that you can get. So blue bottlefly pupa are essential for good health. Um, I think they're just the very best feeder that you can have because naturally that's what they, they like to eat a lot of flying insects. Um, but they will catch and eat anything they can. So uh, that was the end of that video. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, have a good day. Bye. As you can see, after just a few minutes of bringing them back out of the fridge, once they've started the hatching process, it, ta it doesn't take much time at all for them to come right out. At w in which case, they're a little bit vulnerable still, very soft. Very easy prey for things like mantids and uh, reptiles to uh, eat. Um, their wings haven't folded out yet and they haven't dried, which means they can't quite fly yet. They will walk um, up any surface still and they're really annoying. So if you want to slow them down, just put them back in the fridge.